Hey guys, welcome back. So I thank you guys so much for being so understanding with me delaying this video, posting it, because I was away on a trip, as many of you know, and it was much needed. I had an amazing time. It was so wonderful. And although it is good to be back, I am having a hard time like coming back <laughs> to reality. Um, but yeah, I am here. We are doing this reading today for Divine Soulmate Connections or Twin Flames. Um, where the masculine is involved in a karmic situation or relationship and as I always say of course it could also be that the feminine is involved in a karmic situation so just take the messages as they resonate because both sides can actually resonate for both the masculine and the feminine um, keep in mind that this is general so it's definitely not going to be everybody's situation but if you would like a personal reading all that info is in the description box and if you would like a cord cutting session with me, feel free to email me or to just look through my community page and you will find some information there as well. All right, I think that is it. And yeah, I really appreciate everybody's comments, your likes, shares, um, subscriptions. It all helps with the algorithm for my channel and it also helps me to tune in more into your energy. All right. Um, because obviously if you're watching this, then the universe knows that is who I will be tapping into. So I think that's about it. Let's get started. We're going to be looking at the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation, towards their feminine, as well as the feminine's energy and what might be coming up. All right, so let's see what is going on with the masculines, please, currently. And we have a broken heart, first card out. Okay, so masculines are feeling heartbroken or they're feeling a sense of grief, a sense of loss. Um, for some of you, it might be that there was a fallout recently or maybe there was some kind of an argument. If you're in no contact, this could be just that they're really deep into their feelings at the moment and feeling the loss of this connection. We'll see, let's get a couple more cards here. Let's see what else. I have a feeling it's more than what I just said, but we'll see. Um, we'll see more information as we go along, especially as we get into the tarot. All right, we have individuality. Yeah, it definitely feels like the masculine is feeling like this um, separation, this separatedness from their feminine, which individuality, it's a pretty positive card to have. But in this particular context, I'm, I'm seeing it as they're feeling like there's this like break. They're feeling like there's some kind of a disconnection between the two of you um, at the moment. Let's see what else. So I'm going to just get three from this deck here. Okay. We have the answer is yes, balancing the scales and divine timing. Yeah, so the reason why the masculines are feeling this broken heartedness is because they're feeling this, um, like this, this sense of like a detachment, like a disassociation almost is what I'm getting um, from the connection with the feminine. And this is actually um, quite upsetting to them. And I also get that a big part of this is that they feel like there is a decision that they need to make here that has been prolonged, right? That it's taking too much time. Yes, divine timing is at play, but um, divine timing isn't a set time. It's like when things are aligned. And I feel like the masculines know that it is them, right? The answer is yes, for them to make a decision. Um, they're the ones who are needing to bring something about, to bring something into balance. And that it's been taking quite some time here. So yeah, makes, makes sense to me. Um, let's see. Let's see what is going on. Just overall, in their connection with their karmic situation or karmic partner. Three cards, please. We have the King of Wands in reverse, the Two of Swords, and the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Um, yeah, I like I was saying, I feel like there was this window of opportunity that was open for quite some time. 
um, and they were, you know, getting this push to like jump through it, to actually take some action. Things were lining up, making it easier for them. Um, I feel like I'm tapping into the masculines who didn't take that opportunity. Um, and so they're feeling a little bit low about their own self here, feeling like they're incompetent, feeling like they're stagnant. Um, and I'm also getting this isn't just what they're feeling. Yes, two of swords. They have been stagnant. They have not made a decision here. They have not chosen a particular direction and rather they've just um, kind of stood where, where they were. I do get that there were some things um, like little movements or like little things that they did do um, to move in the direction of the feminine. But it's like ultimately they didn't take that big leap. Um, and that's why it's showing up here in their general energy feeling like, you know, they're not in balance and there's something that they need to do and they know this. Because now they're feeling the consequences of that. They're feeling the pain of that. Almost like, you know, knowing that they've, that they missed some kind of an opportunity. However, here's the thing is that it's never really too late for them to do what it is that they need to do. Now, whether or not the feminine is going to be there waiting or available, that's a completely different story. But the masculine still needs to do what he or she needs to do regardless. And so for that, that's what I mean. It's never, it's never too late. And I feel like this is a lesson that they are learning. Like, you know, even though things are not as aligned as they were before and not as easy for them to take that leap now, they could still do it if they, if they just, you know, really pull on their strength here. Um, all right, let's see more specifically. Let's see more specifically their energy towards this karmic situation or person. The Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Five of Swords. Ooh. I'm, I'm probably going to clarify a couple of these. Um, but something's definitely happening here. And I feel like there's a shift. There's a shift in their energy because they actually feel like they've missed this opportunity or that it's, it's almost coming in as like, it's resentment towards their own self for where they are at the moment, but they're also taking it out on, on the karmic person here in some way. Definitely seeing this person um, in a negative way, like with this, I mean, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse to me is, is a karmic um, partner or person in their lives, right? Whoever it is that is serving as an obstacle to other things, but they're there for a purpose, right? As I always say, they're meant to overcome this. There is some kind of a shift here. And I will clarify in just a sec to see what that is, but let's, let me just get one more row here. We'll get one row for what they're thinking and feeling towards this. Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So for a lot of them, they're feeling like there's this... There's either, there's either some kind of a financial issue that is keeping them tied to this, or some kind of a financial obligation, or it could be family, and, and even if it's family, because the Four of Wands is in reverse, um, I feel like for for this masculine, it's more so the practicalities of it rather than feeling like rather than feeling like they'd be losing family, so to speak, or um, or any kind of like a deep connection. It's not that. It's more on it's more on the practical level. So, for example, all right, if if this masculine is married or or in a high level commitment and there are children, you know, then they're thinking about that and how they will be able to provide for that or um, just any financial difficulties that might arise in terms of that. If if it's something superficial, again, it, it feels like they're thinking about um, 
any kind of material status, value, anything that is like on the material plane, right? Like, um, I'm trying to think of an example. <laughs> it could even be like, you know, thinking in the long term, like what would, what would their status be? Either financially or socially or in any other, any, any other way. Um, but it's definitely not 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 feeling that connectedness to that situation, all right, to the karmic partner or situation. They're not feeling the connectedness there. So I feel like actually the masculine is feeling disconnected overall, um, both from the karmic, but also as we see there from from their divine feminine as well. Now we do have the Queen of Cups, which is telling me that this is this is their intuition here kicking in in some way. Um, let me actually clarify some of these. I really want to clarify that second row with the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, and the Five of Swords. So let me get a clarifier for each of those. All right, so clarifying the Wheel of Fortune, we have the Devil. Ooh, okay. There's, yeah, there's definitely some resentment here. I feel like that the, the masculine is actually feeling like, almost like they don't have control over what is happening between them and this situation, whatever it is, and it's going to be different for each of them. Um, but there's something here about them feeling like they don't have control over it and like it's just kind of like sucking them in. Um, I think I'm even getting that for some of them, they're feeling like they've been sucked back in, in this like vicious cycle, like almost like finding themselves back to square one or, f or feeling that way. But the thing here is, is that they're not at square one because they've been through this before. So now it's like seeing it from a different perspective because it's not the first time around. And it's like, okay, how many times am I actually going to go through this? All right, let me see the Queen of Pentacles. And we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, um, it definitely feels like that there's a lot of like tension here and especially their energy towards um, whoever this karmic is. It's not a happy one. It's not a happy energy. It's, it's an energy of, you know, parties over, I'm getting like a depressed kind of a vibe towards them, like um, being pouty. Because like I said, it's like they're taking it out on whoever this is or on the situation when actually it's their own self. It doesn't matter how how difficult the situation is. It doesn't matter if, you know, the karmic partner is making things difficult. The masculine is responsible for his or her own actions and for taking responsibility. Um, so yeah, all right, let's say five of swords. The Empress and the King of Wands. Oh, okay, all right, so Divine Feminine is showing up here. So that's why. Um, because they're feeling that, that pain, that broken heart, that separation from their feminine, <laughs> it's like these masculines are finding, almost like they're finding an excuse and like blaming the karmic, all right, to themselves, like justifying it in that way. And I feel like that's just like a defense mechanism um, to excuse their own stagnation to their own self, um, blaming it on the karmic. And of course, that's not fair. Like I said, it doesn't matter what the karmic does because they are responsible for their own actions or lack thereof. So they're, it's like they're feeling like they've betrayed their divine feminine um, by not having been that king of wands, by not having taken that action, by not having had that confidence and that courage to go after what it is that they want. Um, so it's kind of like, you know, they've deceived their own self, but they're using the karmic as a, as an excuse to their own self. And to be honest, I feel like they're aware of this, like they, they can catch themselves doing that. They know, um, just like I said in the very beginning, like they know that they're the ones that have to do something. 
So yeah, going through a strange phase here. It might be related to the to the full moon. I don't think so. I feel like it's more like a Mercury retrograde energy that's going on here. Um, just taking them back a little bit, and also also though revisiting like their past decisions, and it it just feels like they're kind of really like having to research that, research that within their own selves. Why did they, you know, end up um, not moving forward when they had that opportunity? Or why are they still where they are? Or, you know, whatever. And th the fact that they actually still can. So let's see this bottom row. Um, yeah, let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Cups in Reverse. This is exactly what I just said. So this is confirming what I said about this, that they're not feeling the love. They're not feeling like a happy family, right? There's something here that's just like a matter of either obligation or feeling like it is a status thing or a financial thing or anything in the material that is keeping them tied. And I feel like we get this all the time. Um, but I mean, it's kind of like they know this. They know this. At this point, this masculine here is very much aware of that. So I don't even need to clarify that four of wands in reverse because it's the exact same thing. They're already feeling like, like this situation is broken. Um, <clears throat> let's see the Queen of Cups. All right, and we have Strength and the Five of Cups. They're feeling very emotional, um, very emotional, and I feel like the more that they that they're tapping into their intuition, like I said, their intuition is kicking in. They know all of this. Everything I've been saying, I feel like it's coming like right from their mind, right? So it's like this is what they're thinking. This is what they are very much conscious and aware of. So. But the more that they tap into all of this, like the more that they feel regretful for the past and for where they are. Um, a big sense of regret here, even guilt for being where they are um, and for still being there and for having deceived their own self or for not having taken action when things were aligned <laughs> um, in a way where they could have more easily. And so it's like, yeah, now it's, it's going to take a little bit more strength for now, right? I mean, there will be more <clears throat> windows of opportunity that open up and where things are aligned again. Like I said in a very recent video, like th this cycle happens again and again and again. So there will always be another window of opportunity presenting itself. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, and of course, you know, this reading is general. <laughs> Um, the timelines for these windows of opportunities could even be different for other masculines, okay? So just take the messages as they make sense for you. Okay, so let's move on to the masculine's energy towards their feminine. What is going on there? So three cards. Just overall, masculines towards their feminines. And we have the Three of Cups in reverse, the Ace of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, so all three are cups. Yeah, okay, so Three of Cups showing up in reverse for a second time, right? They also have that in their energy towards their karmic. So it's like what I was saying before, that they're actually feeling disconnected from both. Um, again, feeling like, okay, the joke is done, you know, like this is not funny anymore is, is what I'm getting. This is not funny anymore, right? There's true love here. Ace of Cups. What the hell am I doing? I do feel like for for some of them, they're not sure if you um, are, are dating other people or what you might be doing. That could also be it for some of you, okay? Not all of you, but definitely for some of you. Um... But yeah, either way, this is like totally an energy of what the hell am I doing? All right, let's see. What else? Four of 
Four of Swords in reverse, the Moon in reverse, and the Star. Okay, so they feel like they've messed things up. Um, I'm getting here, yeah, the masculine is feeling like whatever, I don't know if something has happened recently or if they've found out something about you recently or if you found out something about them recently, depending on whether you're, you're in contact or not, or this could be, you know, just energetically. Um, but they're feeling like they messed something up, like where things might have seemed to be going well. Um, something happened and that's why we have the four of swords in reverse. Like, it's like, okay, what was healing now, like, isn't. Um, just something, it's like something has come to the surface or something has been discovered. And this could even be the fact that, you know, maybe they're picking up on you, um, on you realizing that they're still in that two of swords or that that's where they ended up, <laughs> you know, during this time period or something. But what's interesting to me is that we also have the star as the final card in this row. So the masculine actually still has hope here um, to be with their feminine. So yes, they do feel like they've messed things up. They feel like, you know, they may have created tension between the two of you or that um, <clears throat> something, something dark, like something that is not favorable between the two of you, but they're still feeling like they can fix that. So really interesting. Because, as I said, <laughs> their intuition is, is here and it's telling them, you know, it's still it's still not too late. <clears throat> okay, let's get one more row for what they might be feeling. Queen of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Nine of Cups. Wow, okay, so Queen of Pentacles now showing upright, whereas it was in reverse um, in their energy towards the karmic. Um, definitely feeling like, you know, this is the person, their feminine, that they want stability with. Um, seeing you as always having been nurturing, even if there was tension or, or I don't know, whatever. Um, I mean, the lovers and the nine of cups, I, like, I don't even need to explain this. <laughs> I mean, you, this is just them feeling this love for their feminine, right? We had the ace of cups also over here upright. Um, and now we have the lovers and the nine of cups, like, and the nine of cups being right under the star, which both of these cards are talking about a wish fulfillment. Um... So they're definitely feeling this. They de the masculine still wants the feminine. The masculine still feels like this is something that they can still go after and that the connection is salvageable. Knowing, however, that they do need to make a very important decision here. And this double message here, this decision needs to be between their wish fulfillment, their feminine, and the karmic. And so they're there. I mean, they're feeling this. They're, they're, that pressure is still there that I was talking about. Um, I think it was. I think it was in the last reading that was for for karmic um, situations. Like the pressure is on. It's still there. The pressure is still on. Yes, they may have felt like, okay, I'm back in the loop. Like I'm back in this routine. Um, but the pressure is still on. Like I actually get that they're that they're even feeling embarrassed. So if there's like, um, if you feel any kind of like withdrawal from your masculine, it's that they're, they're feeling embarrassed for still being where they are. Okay. So I'm just going to pull a few cards for the feminines in this group and then, and then we'll pull just a couple cards to see what might be coming up. For the feminines. All right, and we have cornucopia, which actually is like the nine of cups. Let's see what else for the feminines, and then I will explain. Hope, 
Okay, and just three from this deck here, please. Okay, this is actually pretty positive for the feminines. Because um, I think it was in the last reading where it seemed like the feminines were going through a bit of a difficult time. But here I am seeing you picking yourself up doing things for your own self and having hope just for, you know, for your own self, for your own future, regardless of what the future holds. You just feeling hopeful that it's all going to work out regardless. All right. And we have guide, awakening and vibrations. Yeah. So your vibration is definitely raising, rising here. I feel like there is some kind of an upgrade here. You're getting guidance. Um, from the divine or you're actually getting like a lot of guidance from your spirit guides from your higher self and so there's like this this awakening and it's not being very specific as to what it is but i'm getting that it's connected to you feeling um or to you realizing where your true happiness really lies and that it does not depend on your masculine so it's one thing to um understand that like intellectually which i feel like you all would anyway and then it's a completely different thing to like really embody that and to really feel that and experience that right because sometimes you know we can understand something it makes sense it's logical yeah my happiness doesn't depend on my masculine but then like is that really what's happening though right it's two different things so what i'm getting here is that the feminine is actually now like experiencing that like what that actually means to live that way where no your happiness is not depending on your masculine right now i feel like you're actually doing your own thing here you're awakening to that you're awakening to what it means to really be in, in a higher vibration regardless of what's happening um in the situation with your masculine and so that's why you have this hope you have this hope for the future because you can feel it right now that hey you know what i'm okay i'm good even even without my masculine so even if you were feeling that before, I'm getting that you're feeling this on a whole new level. And if you don't feel like you're there yet, this could be what is what is coming up for you. So I'm just going to leave that there um, for the feminines. I do want to get more <laughs> cards actually for the feminines, but I try to do that in the um, in the DMDF readings that I do where we don't have the karmic to look into also, right? Just because there's more time in those videos so which i hope to post on sunday so hopefully we'll get yeah we'll get more more energies for the feminines on sunday okay so let's see what might be coming up for the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation in the next week or so All right, we have the Ace of Cups, the Star in Reverse, and the Moon. Ooh, okay, pretty strong energies here. Pretty strong energies. So there's, I don't know if this is much action, okay, to be honest. It's not much action. Um, I definitely see them becoming, like, emotionally more stable in terms of love, thinking about, thinking about new love, actually, because what they're seeing is that the love... Here, in this karmic situation, there's no hope for that, right? Remember, we have the star upright for their energy towards their feminines, and here it is showing up in reverse. So they're knowing that it's not here, that love that they are looking for, that love that they want. There's no hope for it here. This is something I feel like they have already known for a long time. But then we have the moon. So I feel like they're actually, this is actually going to hit them in a very, like, hard and strong way like this realization like i'm never i'm not ever going to have this love with my feminine as long as i am here in this karmic situation that's going to hit them hard and i feel like it's going to throw them into like this deep dark um energy which is not going to be very pretty but apparently they have to go through that um so i mean they're already feeling this but i feel like it's, it's going to intensify a little bit so that's, that's what I'm getting here. It's almost like, you know, the way that this is coming in, it's kind of like, it's a fear, but rather than it being a fear of moving away from the karmic situation, 
it's a fear of, oh my God, like, what is it going to be like if I stay? It's like a fear of, it's a fear of staying. A fear of what if, what if I just don't do anything about this? So yeah, it's going to be pretty deep. So let's see their energy towards their feminines coming up. The Hermit, the Four of Cups, and the World. Ooh. Okay, so wanting to put an end to this aloneness, to this detachment, to this, what, whatever I said before about this individuality where they're feeling this disconnect, um, being in hermit mode, feeling unhappy, feeling this depression, feeling this disappointment, feeling this missed opportunity. Wanting to close that out. Not wanting to live this again and again and again. So are they actually taking action on this just yet? In the next week, I don't see it happening in the next week, but I see them processing a lot and going through something really, really deep here. And at least really feeling like, all right, I need to put an end to this. So that's what I'm seeing. So that's what I have to say. Um... Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see in the next reading how this progresses. Yeah, masculines are not going to be happy. They're not happy. They're not happy right now. They're not going to be happy in the next week. Going to go through some deep, dark um, energies, but it, there's also going to be a lot of self-reflection with this. I feel like actually um, the other message here in their energy towards their feminine is that there's like this deep insight into how unhappy they are without you. So yeah, all right, let's see. So we have the tribe. Let's get one more. And we have message in a bottle. So there's a lot here that the masculine is contemplating concerning their tribe. Who is their tribe? Who is their soul tribe? And I feel like this is actually also true for the feminines. Um, and it could be related to your masculine and it could not be related to your masculine. Just overall, just who is it that belongs in your life? And because like I've always said, you know, there's this mirroring that happens between the masculines and the feminines, right? The more that you... Um, also distinguish between who belongs in your life and who does not the masculines do also there's this reflection that happens and you both can affect one another all right now message in a bottle i feel like for a lot of you this is going to be that you get some kind of a message and it might be unexpected and it's either going to be um from your masculine even if you are in contact it might be like a message that is just unexpected to you um or it, it might be a message that you find out about you find out something about your masculine again that is a little bit unexpected all right otherwise just take these take these messages however they make sense to you so that is it guys i'm gonna leave it at that um i hope that this made sense for all of you and yeah let me know in the comments give me a like if it did resonate and i will talk to you guys very very soon much love